Hey everyone, so it's Monday. Tomorrow is my birthday. So I was at work today and tomorrow... Tomorrow is gonna be a long day, even though it's my birthday. I'm gonna be working from 8am to 8.30pm on my birthday. But it's fine, at least now I can say that I've worked on my birthday before, so. Um, so this is what Kara got me for my birthday. She got me this book. It's like a personalised book, and it's like loads of reasons as to why I'm her best friend. And then she just filled it in. And she got me, she got me an air diffuser. So I've got, um, I think I've got at my mum's house, at my parents' house, I've got um, a lavender essential oil that I used to use. Oh, by the way, I filmed a cover just now, which is going live. It went live on Friday, because this is going out next week. Yeah, because I still have a vlog coming out this week for me, last week for you. It's because it's my birthday week, so I wanted this vlog to start on Monday. Anyways, so yeah, I'm going to get lavender essential oil from my mum's house, uh, my parents' house. I keep saying my mum's house because my stepdad is currently in Portugal. <laughs> so my mum, when I go to, because I'm going to my mum's for dinner, so I'm going to get the essential oil, and then I'm going to test it out. I need to go to sleep early tonight because I'm working, I'm gonna have to be at work at 8am. God. I just left my mum's, she gave me my birthday present, um, because I'm not gonna be able to see her or anyone tomorrow. Um, I got some shoes, actually you've seen the shoes because <laughs> they're the ones that I showed you two weeks ago. No, three weeks ago for you. Wait, no. I can't remember, I'm too tired. Anyway, the ones that everyone literally said, yes, keep those ones. Not the first ones, the Nike ones. Um, because I told my mom that I got new shoes and like, cause I showed it to her on the same day I got them. And then she said, let me just, I'll, I'll, buy, I'll pay for that. And that'll be one of your presents. So she paid for it. And then I just gave it to her and she gave it to me today. And, she also got me some Philips Hue LED lights, like the light strip, because I've got I've got it like behind, like on my headboard thing. It's not really a headboard, but whatever. So I'm gonna use these ones for my desk, so I have more light, which will be nice. And she also got me this pop vinyl, just like a pop vinyl of um, Vision. So yeah, see, it was actually supposed to arrive like back in March, because it was like a housewarming gift. Um, but it, it just never arrived and it finally arrived like two or three weeks ago or something so she just decided to give it to me for my birthday and tomorrow I'm waking up at like six just to get to work so I am not looking forward to that hey everyone I am at work I look so weird it's my birthday and I've been here since 8am and I'm gonna be here until 8.30pm I am tired. It doesn't feel like my birthday. I don't know why, this feels like just a normal day. I look gross. I was in a rush to leave my house, I forgot to, to um, wash my face. Um, but yeah, it's a long day today, but I have my laptop, I have my iPad. So, I will just be editing and doing stuff. Oh, and I did a massive ASOS shop last night it's arriving tomorrow so i'll show that to you tomorrow um and i'm thinking because it's my birthday i might treat myself and order some food for lunchtime because why not i deserve it right i'm working all day so i might as well okay so ignore how gross i look but i decided to get like a mama I got chicken katsu curry, which is my favorite. It's all I ever get from Wagamama. And this is my birthday lunch. I treated myself, because why not? So I was talking to my GP about getting the second vaccination this week and they couldn't because they don't have any appointments. Um, but he said that I could because it's three weeks, but I just can't because there's no appointments. So I'm literally like calling every single walk-in clinic begging to let me come because most of them are like well you can't if it's less than eight weeks 
So I'm just hoping that one is just gonna get back to me and say, yeah, you can come in. And then I'll go there on Thursday. Thursday or Friday or Saturday, I don't know. And just get my second vaccine and then I don't have to quarantine when I get back. I'm so tired. I finished like half an hour early because whoever was like supposed to come for a viewing just canceled last minute. But I am home now. I didn't even vlog much today because I had, I was like always on my feet. But I'm about to like um, have a drink with Chris, my flatmate, and have some food and just relax. And then I'm gonna celebrate my birthday properly on Saturday, which I am very excited for. I'm gonna go to Nando's with my friends and then we're gonna go to Spoons for a drink. Hey everyone, it's Wednesday morning. It's the morning after my birthday. It's 8 a.m. and I am on my way to Joe's house because we are filming another Paula's Choice collab thing. Um, oh my god, I am so tired. I just need, I can't wait to like be able to sleep in again. I think tomorrow I'll be able to sleep in and then Friday I'm back to waking up early. And then this week is just gonna be like full on. Anyways, I, I'm a bit sad that I didn't get to film much of my birthday, but there wasn't much to film anyway. It wasn't, it wasn't like a, an exciting birthday at all, but I guess I just need to be okay with it. Cause like, it's just another day at the end of the day. So, um, but yeah, so I'll try and like film something at Joe's. She always has something wise to say. Hello. Hello. Oh my God. It's, it's way, way too hot. I don't know why I prefer to like. I like the heat in Portugal, just not here. Hello, Matilda. Hello, what are you doing here alone? Look at Matilda. Thank you. This is Matilda is in, this is home with the goods. Matilda is in a wet t-shirt <laughs> and I am in slippers. But the thing is, even in a heat wave, these are 100% natural. Really? So they're, it's not warm? They're from, no, they're from Argentina. Frankie gave them to me. I wear these all the time. So, okay, that's your birthday present. Yeah, Can Georgia's I do this? So, Philippe is vlogging. <laughs> this is crazy. This is Conran, mm -hmm. um, and this is Philippe, and this is Matilda in a wet t-shirt. It's probably better than what's in it. But here we go, unboxing. Okay, I'm excited. It's really nice, like, wrapping, and the box is really lovely as well. Yeah, but the thing is, that's the best bit of it. <laughs> Don't say that. This is really odd doing it with one hand. So how does this work? Do you, do you hang it on the wall? So you hang it on the wall. See, there's two holes. Oh, it's an that air. Way. It's an air. It's an and air. The, and that, so it's quite. Oh, no. So you just put it randomly. No, but do you know why that's really nice? Because growing up, I always had an F on my door. There you go then. It's, it was and like this, a small F. And I now know. I have my own big F. You have your own big F, so you can just oh. F off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. This is so nice. Do you, are you pretending? No, no, this is like, because I told you I grew up with an F on my door. So now this is, thank you so it's much. It's a designer F. Oh. And it's got the holes in the back, so you yeah. don't need to bother. You can just hang it. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Uh, so I just left Joe. Um, I'm now going to work. I'm going to get there like really early but I'll just chill watch some TikToks or do some work or something and I'm not gonna be in for long today which is good so I won't be home late and I can finally rest and tomorrow I am going to see Hairspray I can finally say this because by the time this vlog comes out it would have happened so my friend would already know what the surprise is we're going to see Hairspray and I am so excited because I've always wanted to go see, we were supposed to, actually, we were supposed to have gone to see Hairspray last year, 
um, I think it was June, uh, that the tickets got cancelled, so um, we never ended up going. And they reopened again, so I was like, you know what, it's her birthday, this was like last month, it's her birthday, so I'm going to get us tickets. And then it was cancelled for like a whole week because someone in the cast got corona. So I had to rebook it for this week, even though I had to pay extra because, anyways, it's fine. I'm excited and I am also going to try and get my second vaccine tomorrow. And I'm really hoping that it happens because I want to like be able to travel freely. I'm just at work. The client is coming at 12. It's now 11.23. I am getting a bit hungry, so when they get here, I'm going to let them in and then I'm just going to go to Sainsbury's to get some food, and then I'm going to eat, and then I'm going to go home, and I've got my ASOS parcel coming in today, but I'm still looking at, like, shorts online because I feel like I don't have enough shorts, and I'm going to Portugal for three weeks, so, yeah, look, this is the setup I just did for them. I'm getting good at my job, I hope. But yeah, I am exhausted, so I'm really looking forward to going on a holiday. But that's gonna be a long day as well because I'm leaving my house at like seven, I think, next Monday to go to the airport. But... So yeah, it's because uh, Sunday I'm working until 10 p.m. So I go to work in the afternoon and then the booking ends at 10. So I'll probably be home at like 11.30 and then I'm waking up at 6 a.m. to get ready and get a taxi to the airport because I'm going with my mum and taking the cats and we're going at 7.30 I think with the cats. And I don't know how it's going to work because apparently um, the electrician's coming to my flat on Monday to like do the plugs so like my room needs to be ready for him and I don't know how that's gonna work because I'm leaving at 7 a.m. so I need to sleep and then wake up early so I don't know how I'm gonna leave the room ready because I'm not gonna have time so I don't know what to do because it's like I've got my whole desk and like all my setups and stuff so I need to think about it oh and my flatmate baked me a cake i was not expecting it here's a picture of it like he just brought it out last night and i was because i didn't see it anywhere i went i went in the fridge like because i was making dinner and stuff i didn't see it anywhere i don't know where he kept it and it was so so good and i am so excited to have some of it when i get back home tonight and i'm gonna take a slice for my mum. it was so good so he can bake me a cake like that anytime. Hey everyone, so I'm home. I need to hurry up because I'm going out soon and I also need to film, oh god, I've got to, I've got to film like three or four covers because I'm going to Portugal next week. Well, by the time you're watching this, I'm already in Portugal, but anyways, I'm going to Portugal and I want to like film. That's why I'm going to be wearing the same stuff for like the next few weeks because I'm going to be in Portugal, but I've got like enough covers that I will keep the channel busy while I'm away. Anyways, I just got an ASOS package, yes, another one, and I want to show you what I got. I'm afraid this time I can't ask for your opinion because by the time you're watching this, I'm already in Portugal and I need, like, the, I got these clothes for, um, for Portugal. Anyways, I'm not going to go, like, through them properly like the other times because I get, like, like I said, I can't have your opinion on them, but I just thought it would be nice to show you what I got. Uh, while still in the in the, in the package. Um, so I got this t-shirt. I don't know if you can see it well, but it's like It's like a really light blue and I Like it. I like the color of it And I got the same one in a different color. This one's like green instead of blue Not too sure about this one. I might return this one. Can't remember how much it was. If it was like really cheap I'll keep it, but if it was like, I don't know. Do you get what I mean? You get what I mean. Um, then I got two of these. Why did I get two of these? I didn't get two of these. Maybe I, I added two to the basket by mistake. Anyway, it's like a cream. It looks okay. 
now that I'm looking at it, I'm a bit like, I don't know if I like it. But anyways, so that's on the maybe side. And then I got this. This looks nice. It's a skinny fit roll sleeve t-shirt. It's like a sand color. Stone, apparently. Stone color. It's not made of stone, obviously. It looks nice, but I need to try that one first um, to make sure to make sure it's nice. I also got this cap um, because it's really sunny in Portugal. And usually I don't wear um, hats because I don't really suit hats. But this is a nice color, so and it's Nike, obviously. So, for Portugal, uh, I got this bracelet. I don't know if you can see it. It's like a, one of those stretchy, not stretchy, but like you can, you just, you just pull it. I don't know. It's nice to like when I'm not at the beach and just walking around. Nice. I got these. I got these um, shorts. They're like jeans but shorts. Uh, not too sure on these. I'll need to try them on. And then the side. Um, you can't really see these. I'll just put a picture up here of what they, they're supposed to look like. Um, but like to go to the beach, like I'm not going to be walking around in these. This is just literally to be at the beach because I don't have any. I Last time I went to the beach was two years ago with my ex. So <laughs> that's the story for another day. Uh, it was in Portugal as well. But anyways, back to back to the vlog. And then I got these. These I will take out because they are they're nice. Like there were um there were like similar ones that were like 70 pounds and then there were these ones that were like 20 I think. Um I mean I never know what sh summer shoes look good because I'm so used to wearing trainers. I don't know what actually looks good or what looks like I don't know I don't even know. So I mean, they seem okay. My friends say, said that they were nice, so I think I'm going to trust my friends on that um, and, and keep them. But yeah, anyways, that's what I bought for the summer. I guess I'll let you know next week for you. For me, it's in two weeks, but God, this is so confusing. I'm so sorry about the new timeline. It's because it's just, it's just easier, at least for now, while like because my birthday, and then I'm traveling on Monday, so I want to keep that separate, so this vlog will be, like, my birthday week, and next week's vlog is going to be first week in Portugal, and then we're, we'll be back to um, normal time, like, Wednesday to Wednesday, instead of Monday to Sunday, and then release on Wednesday, because it's just too confusing, but anyways, I'll let you know what I kept, and what I didn't keep, and I need to double check about why two t-shirts came, because if I only ordered one and they sent two. That's a free t-shirt and I'll just send one back. And should I be saying this? Anyways. So I just tried one walk in place um, because my GP told me that they were like fully booked this week. The only day they could get me a vaccine would be next week Thursday and I'm already going to be in Portugal then. So he told me to try a walk in place and I came here. It took me like an hour to get here just to be sent back home. They said that they couldn't, because it has to be eight weeks for them. Um, they're not like, they're not allowed to, they're like signed something. <sighs> so I don't know what to do. I have to go back home because I need to do some work. Um, I'm working from home today, um, but it's just annoying because I was really hoping to get the second one. This is just, a whole mess. It's so complicated. I just want to be able to like travel freely. This is so funny. Okay, wait. So I just got a message from my friend. She's on the train to London now and on her train there's like a hairspray poster. Um, because basically we were supposed to go see hairspray last year but it got cancelled because of corona and now it's a surprise because it's about it was it's a birthday present. Um, so she doesn't know that we're going to go see Hesperate today. And she just sent me a picture of the poster on the train. She said, we have to go. And I was like, I know, oh my god. Um, and I just said, we could go when I come back from Portugal. But little does she know that we're actually going to see it tonight. I'm such a good friend. I feel like my hair looks so weird because every time I, um, I wash my hair during the day, 
it's never good. That's This is why I never wash it during the day. I always wash it before I go to sleep because then it's okay in the morning. But I don't know what it is. Anyways, I am walking to the station now. My friend still has no idea that we're gonna watch Hairspray. I am so excited because, actually no, I was gonna say I haven't been to the theater in a while, but that's a lie. It has been a while actually. Was it April or May? God, time is going by so quick. So I'm meeting my friend outside her hotel. She has no idea, like she's, I can't believe this. She, she's staying right in front of it and she has no idea that that's where we're going. They honestly don't need the arrow because the Pizza Hut restaurant is literally there. That's the bin. Pizza Hut belongs in the bin and I'm, I'm, I'll am i die saying that, I don't care. Domino's is way better, I hate Pizza Hut. Also look who I'm with. I'm back. You remember her from a few vlogs ago. We also remember my blazer. I know it's the same one, but it's fine. And you guys already know what we're doing because I've told you. But she doesn't know what we're doing. We're just gonna go get some food now. But yeah. I still don't know, and I'm really excited. I'm, I'm excited. Trying to guess. What do you think it is? I don't know. I literally have been trying to guess, but I, I don't think I've got it. So. Try it. Say one thing. Actually, maybe don't because if you say it and it's actually here, I'm gonna be so like, I can't either. Oh, right, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> uh, we'll, I have to wait and see then. Yeah, wait and see. Sure. Yeah. We were coming downstairs, in Mac we're in McDonald's, we're lazy, and two girls were like walking up while we were going down. And. And anyways. And literally one of them just screamed as she was like walking, running upstairs. She screamed, Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> like, I get that. I like loads of people say that, but like I've never actually had someone in real life come to me and say Timothy Chalamet. Always keep me. Anyways, look how fancy this McDonald's is. And here's Menashe. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Hi everyone. I'm back. Your favorite person? <laughs> Not really. Sorry. I'm back. I'm the favorite person. Are you? Are you? Yeah. Are you yeah. The food just arrived. So quick. Like, whoa. That was like three minutes? Five minutes max. Mm, never happened before. Okay, yeah, she's just gone back to the hotel because we had like leftover, leftover burgers, burgers. And she can't take food in the theater, so I asked her if she can like also keep my burger. And then, yeah, so when she comes out, I'm gonna try her that. We're going to watch her spray and I'm gonna film it. I'm gonna see her reaction, her real reaction. Okay, so she's back. And do you want me to tell you? Yes. We're watching Hairspray. No! Yeah. No! <laughs> yeah. Do you um, know how weird it is that you literally booked the hotel like right in front of you? Literally it? across And you didn't me. know. Like I was on the train and then I actually sent him a post yeah, and I was like, I told him. we need to actually Go and see. Are you excited? I'm so excited, and then I even told him that I was across from where he's done. Stop. I've been listening to this soundtrack like all day. Oh my god. Okay, oh, uh, I gotta go show the tickets now, so bye. My hand is shaking. <laughs> I've been keeping this a secret for so long, and she had no idea, and now I'm finally free. I'm so excited. I, I hate this. keeping secrets. Oh my god. But yeah, I'm really excited to watch Hairspray. This place is huge. Oh, nice. So this is the first time I'm vlogging at the theatre without Joe. Because I usually go with Joe. Oh. Yeah. Are you excited? I'm excited. I'm actually so excited because I love hairspray. Me too. So I'm a, like, I'm so excited. I've been like listening to the soundtrack like every day this week. And you guys already knew this was gonna happen, but she didn't. I'm actually. I almost said it last week on last week's vlog. I almost said it, but I had to bleep it out because I was like, oh. That, oh, okay. I was like, no, she can't know. I know she's gonna watch this. So. I'll let you know if. Hairspray is good after it's the gonna show. Be good. It's gonna think. be good. Marisha Wallace is in it. She's amazing. Do you know who she is? She was in Dreamgirls. Oh my god, yeah. She's amazing. 
It's like 11 p.m. now. I just got off the train. I look disgusting, I'm sorry. I am walking home, I'm exhausted, and I have to wake up at 6 tomorrow to go to work. Um, but yeah, Hairspray was amazing. I didn't film anything at the end, but it was amazing. And I am really glad that I went to see it because I love Hairspray and I've never seen it live before. And it was great. So I really recommend if you're in London or, or if you're coming to London, I recommend you go see it because it was amazing. I'm at work, it's Friday morning. I'm literally just exhausted. I had to wake up at like six to get here. I ordered um, German, German Donner Kebab. Same thing I had last weekend with Cairo. Um, and then I found, uh, I found a walk-in place for the vaccine that may allow me, but it's, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go, obviously. It's in Marble Arch. I'm just praying and hoping that they'll give me the second dose. It's just gonna make things a lot easier. We'll see. Hey y'all, first of all, ignore that. Yes, again, I have said this a million times and I'm gonna say it every time you see that because I am not gonna stop saying ignore that. So I ended up going to that place and the guy was nice compared to the guy yesterday who was horribly rude. Um, he was nice, but he was like, I'm really sorry, but um, it has to be eight weeks. It's because, and I get it, it's because these places, they're not like, they're not, well, I'm assuming, I haven't done my research on it, but they're not like doctors, are they? They're like pop-up places. So they got to sign a contract to, with the NHS to say, we will not give this vaccine to people that are not eligible because they could get sued or, I don't know, stuff could stuff could could happen anyways i am ho i'm home now and it's friday night i am exhausted so i literally just bought a frozen pizza and i'm gonna eat that for for dinner but my h&m parcel arrived i promise you it's the last parcel i'm gonna get for a while because also because i'm going on holiday but i wanted to buy shorts because i don't have enough shorts so i am going to show you the shorts i got from h&m one second so I love like the package paper thank you H&M for not using plastic because this is a lot better save the planet so these shorts I am definitely gonna keep because I love the color they're like purple and they go with like they go well with like light colors so like if I wear this with with a white t-shirt or yellow t-shirt I don't know it just, I think it goes well with the with my new shoes as well. Well, I'll be wearing sandals in Portugal, but you you know what I mean. These ones I'm not too sure about because I already have green shorts. I I did this at like 7 a.m. like the other day. My brain is not working in the morning, so I was like, oh yeah, I was like, oh yeah, those look nice. So let me just buy these. And then I got I got home and I was like, wait, hang 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 on a minute. I have green shorts like they're they're darker but they're still green I'm gonna send this back and last but not least cream shorts I already have um kind of like stone so because they're not white but they're also not cream they're like stone um I have like stone shorts <laughs> stone shorts if that's what the color is called but these ones are like cream like actual beige kind of thing so i just thought they looked nice so i might keep i, I honestly can't make decisions so tomorrow i'm gonna see my mum, and I, I that's this is why i haven't taken anything out of the package i'm just gonna like show her what i got and see what she thinks looks good and she's, and then I'll make a decision on what I'm going to return and what I'm not going to return. It's been so hot all day. I bought this from Amazon and it arrived last night while I was at the theatre. And it's honestly 
the best purchase I've made this week because I was on the tube today, central line, because I had to go when I was going to the vaccination place. I don't usually get a central line, but like they don't have, it's literally boiling, no AC. And I was the only person with a fan and everyone was looking at me. And I didn't feel like they were looking at me because they were like, what the hell is he doing? Like they were looking at me because they were jealous that I was, well, I was still feeling really hot. I'm always hot anyway. God, I need to, I need to shut up. So, um, I can't remember if I did it, if I did another video last night or not. I didn't get, I didn't end up getting the second jab yesterday. Yesterday. However, I went to do the PCR test this morning uh, with my mum, uh, so, so we can fly to Portugal. And I just asked them, because like it was a pharmacy here near my house, and I just asked them, if they were doing vaccinations. I kind of said it as a joke, because like, obviously I would know. He was like, no, but we are doing it down the road and it's appointment only, but sometimes they give it away. So I, he was like, just go try it. So my mom and I went there and we were queuing up. And then there was like this really nice girl. She came out in his scrubs and my mom was talking to her. And then she, because I had a text from my GP saying that I can take it from the 10, 20 second onwards. So she went inside with my phone to like show whatever. And then she came back and she's like, yeah. And she was like, it's fine, we'll, we'll do it. So I got my second vaccination. Like really randomly, I had no idea I was gonna get it. And I did. And I'm really happy about it. And now I'm just on my way to return some of the clothes. I tried on the shorts and I really like the purple ones, but there you are, they're huge. And then I'm going out for birthday drinks and birthday dinner with my friends, then tomorrow I'm working, and then flying out on Monday, finally. God, this week was eventful. So I'm signing off from the airport. If you wanna find out why I'm at the airport, you, you know already, but just watch next week's vlog and you'll see what I've been up to. It's been a stressful morning, so wait until next week and you'll see why. I didn't really finish the vlog this weekend because I went out for drinks with my friends on Saturday to celebrate my birthday. I drank my mum's shopping. I drank way too much, way too much. And then the next morning, I, I was just like, I told my friend, I was like, I'm gonna be sick. So I went in the bathroom when I was just sick. And then I went to work. Just, you know, I'm professional. So I went to work until 10 p.m. This was last night. Today is Monday the 26th. I went to work until 10 p.m. Got home at like 11.30, made dinner really quick, packed my suitcase, and I went to sleep at like almost 1 a.m. I'm exhausted, I woke up at six. But I'll tell you exactly what happened today on next week's vlog. I guess, is that a clickbait? That's not a clickbait, because this is not a thumbnail. That's a teaser that's a teaser trust me next week's vlog next week's vlog is gonna start is you're, you're gonna i sent a voice note to joe explaining what happened she was like i need a drink after that like she was getting stressed just from what i was saying anyways as always please share my channel with anyone you know um help me get more subscribers help me be able to monetize um and then i can start doing more things that you like um leave a like share um subscribe follow me on instagram you'll know every time i post um, follow me on spotify apple music you can find my music there i've got a new um ep coming out in september i've set a date but i don't want to announce it yet because i don't want to jinx it but anyways have a good week i will see you this friday with a new cover that i filmed before um before portugal so i filmed like a few covers to post while i'm away but Enjoy it. I I kind of had to rush it, but you know what? It's good. Enjoy it. And enjoy your week. I'll see you Friday, and then next week, you will see why I'm stressed. It's a good story. Have a good week.